So for this question, we have a cylinder of base radius R and height described in the radius, a sphere of radius 6 cm and the center is O. So we are supposed to show that the H square plus 4R square is equals to 144. So how do we go about doing this? Is by uh, observing. So if you can see that you have a sum of squares, it does look uh, similar to uh, a question that will make use of uh, Pythagoras theorem. Right? So the trick here is to observe this right angle triangle over here. Right? And we know that if this is H, see how this is in the center, right? From O, this length over here, this should be half of H. Okay? So with this right angle triangle, we can write down uh, by Pythagoras theorem. Then 6 square should be equals to H over 2 square plus R square. Okay, this in turn will give us the 36 equals to H square over 4 plus R square. Multiplying all sides by 4, we'll have 144 equals to H square plus 4R square. And therefore, done. Okay, so that is part A. Okay, so for part B, we're supposed to find the largest possible volume of the cylinder. So what we need to do is to do a, a DVDR. Uh, we need to do, find the maximum volume, which suggests that we need to, uh, this is a maximum minimum question. We need to conduct differentiation. Right? So imagine that when you have the curve of maximum volume of R to V, that this particular R that will give you the maximum V, right? The highest V possible. Right? So in order to find this point, we have to do uh, find the gradient, which is done by using dvdr, and equate dvdr to zero. So remember these steps is we need to find dvdr, uh, find a stationary point, and use a first or second derivative test to check that this is the indeed the maximum point. Okay, so translating the graph to what we have here, we first next find what's v. In a raw form, right, the maximum largest possible volume, such as we likely need to differentiate a volume function all right we need to differentiate a volume right the volume sorry so uh, i first look at this and ask myself what's the volume lah? okay so volume of cylinder is one third pi r square multiplied by uh, sorry not one third uh, just pi r square multiplied by height which is the base here times height now if i want to do dvdr we need uh three do terms of one function so we will need V in terms of R <clears throat> in order for us to conduct the differentiation. So H is slightly the one that has disappeared. So how do I go about doing this is I will be using uh, probably uh, here. Right? So I can make H disappear or I can make R disappear. Right? So uh, one possibility is if I look at this uh, and I look at this portion, it might be easier for me right, just to make R square the sub <coughs> in terms of H. Okay, so here the decision is which one do you want to choose? Do you want to choose DVDR or DVDH? Okay, so looking at my substitute, uh, it does seem that it's easier for me to choose R square as a sub. So this is the probably the one I'm going to choose. Right? From equation 1, we can see that uh, 4R square will be the same as 144 minus H square. And R square will be 1 over 4 of 144 minus H square. Or aka, this is just, uh, I think, 36 minus H square over 4. Lah. Okay, so I will take this as the sub. I'm going to sub this to equation 3. And therefore, if I sub equation 2 into 3, what I have is my volume is now pi r square. My r square is substituted as h uh, multiplied by h. Okay, so remember this is the r square. This is the r square. It doesn't matter whether we do dvdr or dvdh. What matters is uh, 
the function must be easy to differentiate after that. So if I make h the subject, I sub in, you see I'll get a square root, which may not turn out to be so pleasant. Huh? So I pi over 4, pi h over 4, multiplied by 144 minus h square, or you can simply write this as uh, 36 pi h minus 1 quarter pi over 4 of h cubed. Okay. Now again, now what we need to do now is remember we need the maximum volume, right? So given V is in terms of H, let's do dV dH. So we will need dV dH to be zero simply because we want to find the H that gives us the maximum V. Right? We need to find the stationary value of H uh, of V, sorry. So dV dH here. Simply differentiate this 36 pi h, I get 36 pi. Differentiating h cubed, that gives us 3 h square. So we have 3 pi over 4 h square. Because h cubed, 3 h square. Differentiating h cubed, 3 h square. Then I equate this to 0. Okay, I'm trying to find the value of H that gives me a stationary value of the volume. So from here, I proceed to solve for my H. Alright, I want to solve for H. I'll divide by 3 pi over 4 on both sides. Just so that I can clear away and unlock my H on the left hand side. I have h square equals to 36 pi over 3 pi over 4. That provides my, uh, eventually, simplifying with a calculator, h square uh, to be, let me see, huh? forty-eight. So therefore, my h is either equal to square root 48 or negative square root 48. So of course, we will reject this given that our h is a positive number, right? So what do I do next is now I will proceed to check if this stationary value indeed gives me a maximum value of h. Looking at how dv dh looks like, it seems simpler for me to do a second derivative test. So I'm going to try and hope that I get what I need. So d2v dh square, differentiating this is just the derivative of 36 pi <coughs> minus 3 pi over 4 h square. Differentiating 36 pi gives me 0. 3 pi over 4 h square, differentiating h square, that gives me 2 h. Right, simplifying this to a two, my answer turns out to be negative three pi over two h. Now, if I sub in my h into you know, square root forty eight, remember this is the one that gives you a stationary value of h of v. Sorry, if this gives me a stationary value of v. So what are we doing now is the second derivative test. We are testing if it gives us a negative value. So d2v dh square, if I sub in h to be square root 48, what I get is negative 3 pi over 2 square root 48. Okay. This approximately turns out to be 30, negative 32.648 4, all right, uh, which is less than 0. Okay, so therefore, h equals to square root 48, okay, gives the 
maximum volume of V. Now, we are not going to stop here because the question asks us to find the maximum volume. So what do we do after that? Substitute H in, okay? Sub H into V, right? Remember our V originally from here is 36 pi H minus H pi over 4 H cubed. 36 pi H minus pi over 4 H cubed. Okay, I'm going to sub H inside here, square root 48. This is to get me the maximum volume, huh? Remember, uh, here, right? This is the volume formula, right? Don't, don't confuse this with dvth. Just work it out. You should be able to get 96 pi square root 3 cn cubed. Okay, so that is your answer here. Thank you.